Today I'm going to talk about a topic that doesn't usually get talked about, and that is the recycling of nuclear waste, or spent nuclear fuel. And the question is, why have some countries decided to recycle their nuclear waste, but the United States doesn't? Countries like France have a policy for recycling their nuclear waste, known as reprocessing, in place for years. Yet the United States actually had a policy that prohibits it. A recent study from the Business Insider found that in 2013, France generated 75% of their electricity from nuclear reactors. Currently, France is the leader in nuclear technology, and as such, they receive 17% of their nuclear energy from reprocessed nuclear waste. So where does the United States fall in? Unfortunately, we're at the end of the pack. During the same year, we received 19% of our electricity from nuclear energy, 0% of which came from reprocessed waste. However, it's not all bad news for the United States. While we fall behind a percent of electricity produced, we are the leaders by volume. In 2013, the U.S. generated 790,000 gigawatt hours of electricity from nuclear energy. That's more than the next three highest countries combined. And it's no surprise that with 0% of this waste being reprocessed that the United States would have an issue with nuclear waste disposal and its impact on the environment. Alright, I know you're all familiar with how a nuclear power plant works, but just in case you're not, I'll give a quick overview on the process. Nuclear reactors use fuel rods containing enriched uranium that undergo a nuclear process known as fission. This causes the nucleus of an atom to split into smaller parts, giving off a lot of energy in the form of heat in the process. The heat from the fuel rods is used to superheat water beyond its boiling point so it can circulate through a heat exchanger surrounded by clean water. Clean water does not come in direct contact with the fuel rods, so it is not considered radioactive. The clean water turns into steam and is forced through a turbine that is connected to a generator which spins to produce electricity. The iconic nuclear power plant towers are actually cooling towers used to condense the superheated steam back into liquid water so that this process can be repeated. The benefit to nuclear energy is that it produces no criteria pollutants such as sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, lead, or particulate matter. However, on the other hand, nuclear waste is produced. So basically there's two types of nuclear waste, low level and high level. High level waste is what most people think of when they're talking about nuclear waste. And although high-level waste only makes up 3% of nuclear waste by volume, it contributes to about 95% of the radiation. Low-level waste generally consists of items that may have had indirect contact with the fuel rods, such as tools, clothing, or water. And these items are usually disposed of by burying them underground. However, high-level waste is far more radioactive and contains roughly 46 newly formed waste elements, all of which are radioactive. These elements are the result of uranium and plutonium nuclei splitting. This nuclear waste must be stored in a spent fuel pool where it will cool between 1 and 10 years before it can safely be transferred to a concrete and steel reinforced cask. It's then buried deep underground where it will remain forever. However, this is not a sustainable solution. There is a limited amount of space where nuclear waste can safely be stored, and given the fact that most nuclear waste remains dangerously radioactive for thousands of years, it's only a matter of time before we are bound to run out of storage. Despite all the dangers of nuclear waste, the United States still does not reprocess any of it. And the main reason is because of cost. It simply costs less to let it build up on plant sites than it does to reprocess. However, not all costs are economic. There is also the cost to the environment, and the fact that reprocessing would help reduce our need to mine for new uranium, and less mining means less of a physical impact on the environment. There is also the cost of safety, and that is that reprocessing will help reduce the buildup of nuclear waste that is accumulating in plant sites exceeding their capacity and creating a potentially dangerous scenario. It would also reduce the amount of on-site storage and help create a safer work environment. Lastly, one of the things I found most interesting was the amount of potential energy that still remains and used nuclear waste. It's said that if all the spent fuel in the United States was reprocessed, it could run all 100 of the United States reactors for the next 30 years without the need for additional fuel input. With that being said, I believe that the time to act is now before things get any worse. With the ban lifted and technology in place, it is time we start reassessing our methods of nuclear waste disposal. The United States does not need to fall any further behind. We are more than capable of being one of the major leaders in nuclear technology and setting the bar high for others to follow. Thank you.